Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, then welcome to my channel. My name is Abby and I'm a homeschooling mom of five. I have kids currently in age from four weeks old to 13 years old. So we've got a little bit of everything going on here in our homeschool. Today I have a back to school book haul for you guys from Usborne Books and more. So I've got something for literally all five of my kids from my four week old all the way up through my middle schoolers. So if you guys are interested in any of these books, I will leave a link to my personal Usborne Books and more store in the description box down below. And let's go ahead and get on with the haul. So here's what I got from Usborne Books and more for the start of our upcoming school year. Okay, so the very first series that I'm showing you is the first series that I put in my cart when I was shopping. This is a brand new release. It is the Find and Speak Spanish series, and there are currently four books in the series. There's Find and Speak Spanish Animals, Numbers, At Home, and Colors. And this is just a little find and seek book where it teaches your children some basic terms in Spanish. But one of my favorite things about this series is that it tells you all of the pronunciations. So if you are not fluent in Spanish and yet still want to teach your kids some introductory Spanish. This is a great series for toddlers and preschoolers. So this is a great one. I wanted to grab this for my daughter. The next series that I'm showing you is also a brand new series. This one I was also really excited about because that same daughter who I got the Spanish series for, who just started kindergarten, is a huge fan of any books that are interactive. So anything like the Lift the Flat books or our sticker books or the uh, Little Bear Needs Glasses or anything like that with the reusable stickers. She loves books like that. And since she's not able to read on her own yet, these are really great books for her to also just grab and sit on the couch with if there's nobody to read to her at the moment. So this new series, the Busy Day series, currently has astronaut, athlete, firefighter, chef, and vet. And this is an action playbook series. So you lift the flaps and follow along with somebody in their career path, helping them along the way throughout their day. So it's just a really cute lift the flap type of book. And I know she's gonna absolutely love this. This next series is a newish series. It's not super new, but I've had my eye on it for a while. It was just released within the last year or so. This is the Let's Go Shopping series, and this is another really fun one. It's like a search and find style book, kind of like a memory one in a sense. So this one I have Let's Go Shopping Farmer's Market, bookstore, supermarket, and bakery. And this one is an interactive book in the sense of you are reading a story as they go shopping, but then they'll ask questions like, what was on our list? And you have to go back to the beginning of the book and see what was on the list and match it up with the aisle that they're in at the store or the particular booth they're at at the farmer's market. And you can either go back and look or pull from your memory and decide what was on that original shopping list. So this is another fun, interactive book.
I am a big fan of baby books and reading to my babies or giving them high contrast images to look through to practice sitting and looking at a book. So I have a few books that I just grabbed for my youngest daughter who is a newborn, but I am so looking forward to peeking through these books with her in the evenings as part of her routine. So a few book series I grabbed for her. The first one I have is this baby's very first little library. There are four little books in this, animals, mealtime, colors, and bedtime. And again, these are all really high contrast images with like one word, like car or cat as you're reading through. The next book series I grabbed for her, I actually got two sets of because I'm going to a baby shower soon. So I wanted to have this as a gift. This is baby's very first little black and white library. And if you're familiar with newborn development, black and white, that high contrast, that's something that they're very interested in from the beginning. As a matter of fact, my four week old right now does lay down on her little play mat and look at black and white image cards that I set up for her. It's a really uh, great way to work on their development and their milestones and so I was excited about this little black and white library so this one has babies going out animals and faces and they're just little board books so I thought these would be really cute as well to have for my youngest daughter to read to her no she's not my youngest daughter anymore I guess my middle daughter to read to my youngest daughter um, as she's learning to read but also wants to just have the baby in her lap or on the bed I thought this would be a fun way for them to interact is to look at these books. I also got these really high contrast books. These are colorful, these are not black and white. These are the stroller books and those are so cute, such a great idea. I've seen these but never had a kid in a stroller at the time. So these are baby's very first stroller books, outdoors, jungle, and animals. They have an elastic, I guess it's like an elastic, um, cord that they're connected to that you can use to connect it to your stroller or you can disconnect it with the velcro if you are not able to be like watching the baby these are super colorful high contrast books they also have little ridges and indentations in the books so they can feel it with their fingers and kind of interact with the book a little bit that way i thought that these were just such a great idea and i've always really admired them on the website and when i have customers who order these so i was excited to grab a few for my daughter and then the other books i have to show you are the baby's black and white books. This is not the baby's very first black and white books. These are just a different book. I wasn't sure looking on the website if they were the same size or not. So the baby's very first black and white books are very small, just a few inches large. And then the baby's black and white books are standard size board books. So I got animals, outdoors, bedtime, and hello. And again, I just grabbed these because I really like those high contrast black and white books. I'm actually surprised I didn't already own this art treasury. This is such a unique book. So this is pictures, paintings, and projects. So this is a really neat book because it combines the art from around the world and from different artists with a project or idea on how to do something similar on your own. So it's a little bit of learning and a little bit of uh, putting things into practice. So I thought that was a really neat way to study art and to add to our collection of art study and picture studies. So I wanted to grab this for my kids. Another really neat couple of books that we have, and I've purchased these for gifts before and peeked through them, but I've never owned them for my kids is Where's Jane and Where's Will? So Where's Jane, you find Jane Austen hidden in her novels, and then with Where's Will, you find Shakespeare hidden in his plays. And so what you have is an overview of each of these novels or plays, and then you turn the page and it's very much like Where's Waldo, except you're finding characters and scenes that they highlight for you on the page prior in this big, busy page. So that's a really fun one fun couple of books I really wanted to have just for quiet time or when my kids want to grab a book and bring it along with them somewhere. And then all the answers are in the back. So that's a great option if you are looking for a book to gift or if you're studying Jane Austen or studying Shakespeare, I think your kids would really enjoy it. And I know my kids are especially going to love the Shakespeare one now that they're finally enjoying Shakespeare.
Speaking of Shakespeare, I recently did Midsummer Night's Dream with my kids in homeschool, and so I wanted to grab this slot together theater. I had purchased this for my brother's kids a few years ago when they were doing Midsummer Night's Dream, and I've always wished that I had it for my kids. So this slot together theater comes along with an Usborne book, and this has 79 pieces to slot together, and it has scenes and characters from The Nutcracker and A Midsummer's Night's Dream. So you put together a little stage for them. There is a code, I believe it's a code that you can scan and it gives you the music to uh, go along with it and you can put on a little production for them. So I grabbed a new illustrated original. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me because I have quite a few of Usborne's illustrated originals, but I did not have Anne of Green Gables. My kids love these books. We have so many of them. We have White Fang, Wizard of Oz, Black Beauty, Treasure Island. We have so many of them already. They're all so beautiful on a shelf, but I wanted to add Anne of Green Gables for my oldest daughter who wants to read this story. So I went ahead and grabbed this one. We almost have all of them at this point. The next books I have to show you are for my older two kids who just read and read and read and I can never keep enough books in the house. I thought they would enjoy reading through this mystery series together. So I have Mystery of Clockwork Sparrow, Mystery of the Jeweled Moth, Mystery of the Painted Dragon, and Mystery of the Midnight Peacock. I have a couple of things here that are not exactly books that I wanted to show you. So the first is this set of famous paintings cards. So these are really neat. They tell you about 30 of the world's most famous paintings. So the stories behind the pictures and all about the artists and their lives. So I thought this would be a really neat thing to add to our morning basket. The next thing is this Spanish learning wrap-ups. So if you've seen these learning wrap-ups before, they're self-correcting. And so basically you, use this yarn and wrap it around. You match the pairs on either side and then you flip the card over and it'll tell you if you were correct by following the track of the yarn. So I've never seen this set with Spanish and as you saw earlier, we're going to be doing Spanish in school this year and so I've been trying to come up with additional ways to work on their Spanish skills. So this one has learning words, talking basics, making statements, asking questions, and then a work along audio CD, which I thought was super neat. So I went ahead and grabbed that. We already have the addition and subtraction and multiplication and division set of these. And then there's also some that are vocabulary words and things like that. So I really like these. These are a great grab and go option for learning on the go or just for reinforcing some learning. So I grabbed those. And then another thing we already own, so I just grabbed some additional sets of, are these learning palette cards. So the learning palette itself is a self-correcting tool you can use in your homeschool where they uh, use these different cards and they place these little plastic discs along in this circle thing <laughs> with answers. And then they can flip it over and see if they have the correct disc on the correct answer. So it's self-correcting, it's really helpful and just another way again to reinforce skills. Now we have something from my uh, kindergartner, even when she was in preschool, all the way up to my middle schooler to use with these. So there were a few more sets of these cards that we didn't have that I knew we would use this year specifically in our homeschool. So I grabbed um, some algebra concepts, level three and level four. I also grabbed a couple of the capitalization and punctuation cards, one set for me and one set for my brother. And then I also grabbed nouns, verbs, and adjectives, level one. And then the very last thing I have to show you is always a hit in our house. It is the magic painting books. There are so many different magic painting books and first magic painting books online. These are books where you just paint with water and the color shows up. But what I like about this is it's not like the ones you find like on a road trip that are just for little kids, like with the colorful markers, you know? These have intricate details, so you can use these, you know, I use them, so really any age. So for my older ones, I got them all this famous paintings, magic painting book, and then for my daughter, who's in kindergarten, I grabbed her this first magic painting farm book. I really like the first magic paintings for her because there aren't as many details, so the colors don't really run for her, which is helpful. This is great because you can use these anywhere. There's a water fountain or you can bring along a little water or a water bottle and it's just a nice 
neat way to do something, say in a waiting room. We often bring these to the dance studio um, and just to enjoy a little bit of painting without the mess of the paint. So that is what I grabbed from Usborne Books and More to start the school year well and with some fun new books and treats. If you guys are interested in any of these, like I said, the link to my personal Usborne Books and More store is in the description box down below. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you soon.